dear students we will discuss about third type of salty assembly in this session i have shown an example to explain the third type of salty assembly this mechanical assembly contains many parts a spacer with a dimension a a lever with the dimension b another spacer with the dimension c another lever with the dimension d and uh, uh, another spacer with the dimension e and a washer x all these parts are mounted over the shaft and this is the uh, uh, body of the mechanical assembly after mounting all the parts the play okay which is nothing but the gap between the last part and the body so this axial play has to be properly maintained so the play has to be optimized for the proper working of the assembly if the play is too high then while the assembly is in the working mode while the mechanical assembly okay, uh, is in the working mode uh, it may introduce too much noise or the vibration will be more if the play is more if the play is too little then shifting the lever okay uh, uh, the gear shifting lever uh, will be very difficult to operate due to lack of proper clearance so this axial play has to be optimized for the proper working of the mechanical assembly let us say you want to maintain a play of 0.1 plus or minus not 5 after assembling all the parts the play the axial play has to be maintained to a level of 0.1 plus or minus not 5 for this example so if you want to maintain okay such a very close play of 0.1 plus minus not 5 then we have to manufacture all the parts of the assembly with a very stringent tolerances say the spacer a has to be finished to a very close tolerance similarly the lever b the lever with the dimension b has to be finished to a very close tolerances so like that all the parts of the assembly has to be okay uh, finished with a very close tolerances which will result in higher cost of the assembly so attaining a play of 0.1 plus or minus not 5 may be possible with assigning very stringent tolerances to the parts of the assembly which will result in higher cost i don't want to increase the cost of the assembly at the same time i want to maintain a very close play axial play of 0.1 plus or minus not 5 for that the solution is using the type 3 salty assembly so when you use the type 3 of salty assembly we can achieve a clearance okay in the close range of 0.1 plus or minus not 5 without increasing the cost of the assembly how so when we are using the principle of salty assembly the parts okay, with dimension a b c d e f are going to be manufactured with the wider tolerances so when you assign wider tolerances naturally the cost of the assembly is brought down then all the parts with the dimension a b c d e f are going to be interchangeable parts the last part washer x alone is going to be selectively chosen so when you use the salty assembly type 3 all the parts of the assembly are made out of interchangeable parts except for the last part so here the x master x is the last part which is going to be selectively chosen depending upon the gap providing so this assembly okay with the, the involved dimensions are shown in the simplified form here uh, the 
spacer with the dimension okay a bar plus or minus a okay a bar is the mean value of the dimension a plus or minus a is the tolerance then the lever okay the lever with the dimension okay b bar plus or minus b then another spacer with the dimension c bar plus or minus c then that is another lever okay then that another uh, spacer okay then the f is the dimension okay between the okay uh, two okay side of the body so f f is having a mean value of f bar plus or minus f so when uh, the salty assembly is adapted to maintain the required play of point on plus or minus not phi all the parts are manufactured out of interchangeable parts except the last part so the method of assembly is to mount all the parts over the shaft except the last part here the last part is the washer x so before okay putting on the washer x the gap prevailing okay uh, 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 between the last but one part and the body is to be measured so here the dimension y is the gap which is to be measured okay uh, before you decide the uh, suitable washer x so based upon the gap which is prevailing we have to choose a washer washers with different sizes are to be kept ready during the assembly process so we have to have certain number of washer under group 6 certain number of washer under group 4 so like that the, okay washers with different sizes are to be kept ready during the assembly process first on assembling the first assembly we have to assemble all the parts then the gap y is measured depending upon the gap y which is prevailing on the first assembly we have to choose a suitable washer okay from the available group of washers so that washer is okay assembled as a last part in the assembly okay on choosing the right washer then we, okay we can achieve the required play of 0.1 plus or minus not 5 without increasing the cost of the assembly so this is the principle of third type of salty assembly so this gap y is not going to be constant for all the assemblies in the first assembly the gap y okay may be of some value in the second assembly the gap y may, may be a different value so this gap y is varies from assembly to assembly so this gap y we have to group so gap y is going to be grouped under five or a more required number of groups so group 0 of gap group 1 group 3 group 5 group 7 on the outside group 2 group 4 group 6 group 8 on the even side so starting from the group 0 the gap y is going to be grouped into certain number of odd number of groups and certain number of even number of groups once the gap y is grouped then we have to manufacture set of washer okay, suitable for fourth group of gap another set of washers suitable for second group of gap so like that for each group of gap we have to uh, keep ready okay, certain number of washers so if the gap okay, which is uh, measured Uh, on the first assembly is falling under group 0 then we have to pick up washer from group 0 then assemble it as a last part in the assembly the required play will be achieved in the second assembly if the gap y is measured it is found to be falling under group 1 choose a washer from group 1 assemble it as a last part in the assembly then the required play of point on plus or minus not phi is achieved now let us discuss how to solve a problem under group 3 of salty assembly uh, read this problem uh, a mechanical assembly uh, which is shown in the figure 
uh, we have to maintain a clearance of our axial player of 0.1 plus or minus 0.5 between the moving and non-moving members of the assembly. The dimensions A, B, C, D, E and F are shown here. The washers X which are to be selectively chosen after measuring the gap Y. These washers are finished by surface grinding with an IT grade of 6. So we have to use the principles of selective assembly to maintain the required axial play of 0.1 plus or minus 0.5. We have to arrive at the group limits for gap Y and the group limits for the Vasos X. So this is the assembly for which we have to find the answer. The simplified diagram is shown. Since the gap Y is resulting due to the dimensions A, B, C, D, E and F, I have shown the dimension loop involving all these dimensions, the gap Y is to be found out by making a tolerance loop. Let me start from this side. If I move towards right side, let me take a convention of positive. If I move towards left side, let me take a convention of uh, negative. So starting from this, okay, A, A bar is the okay, dimension. Uh, which is having a positive convention because okay from the origin okay it is moved right to right direction then plus b bar plus c bar plus d bar plus e bar plus y bar then minus f bar will give to the okay, get you the same position okay, that is what i have written as a first step in the solution we have to draw a dimensional loop for finding the gap y. So plus a bar plus b bar plus c bar plus d bar plus e bar plus y bar minus f bar is equal to 0. Here y bar is minus n because okay, once you reach this end then we have to go back. Okay, So when it is moved okay, towards the left side the f bar becomes minus and we have come to the same position of the origin it is 0. So sum of the all the dimensions is 0. So from this the y bar value is found as f bar minus a bar plus b bar plus c bar plus d bar plus e bar. So on assigning the values okay whatever is available in the question okay so this mean value are substituted to find the gap mean value of the gap y bar as 5. Then what is the variation about the mean gap? So small y is uh, cumulative of a tau, tolerance of the individual dimensions. So the y is the found out by adding the tolerance of uh, the dimension f, a, b, c, d, e which are found to be okay, affecting the y bar. So from this equation okay, y is found as f plus a plus b plus c plus d plus e all these values are taken from the uh, question and it is found to be 0.19. So from this, okay, y is found to be vary between y bar plus or minus y which is nothing but 5 plus or minus 0.19. So 5 is the mean value of the uh, uh, gap that is uh, y bar okay, and 0.19 is the variation about the mean value okay, that is uh, small y. So 5 plus or minus 0.19 is the gap that is expected from assembly to assembly. So the y, gap y is not constant for all the assembly. Okay, it may vary from 4.81 to 5.19 from assembly to assembly. So once we find the gap y, the next step is to find the dimension loop for finding the uh, x bar. So looking at the this diagram, the x bar is the mean value of the washers x. dx is the tolerance on the washers. dx is the tolerance on the washers. So we can draw another loop 
starting from this side so the loop may pass through y then z then x so we, we can draw the loop uh, before finding the uh, x bar uh, let us find out the value of z bar plus or minus k so the required play uh, uh, is uh, written as z is equal to z bar plus or minus k so z bar is the uh, mean value of the required play and k is the uh, tolerance of the required play so as per our problem we want to maintain an axial play of 0.1 plus or minus 0.5 so which means that the z bar is 0.1 uh, k values 0.05 Let us draw one more dimensional loop for finding the value of x bar. So let us start the loop from this side, taking this as origin. If the loop goes towards right side, let us take a positive sign. If the loop goes towards left side, let the, let us take the negative sign. So from this. y bar which is positive minus z bar minus x bar is equal to 0 so y bar minus z bar minus x bar equal to 0 from this the x bar value is okay found as y bar minus z bar so the we know the value of y bar which has been found as 5 mm yearly then the z bar value is the requirement as per the question okay we want to maintain a clearance of uh, an, an axial play of 0.1 plus or minus 0.5 so the z bar value is 0.1 so that is also substituted here now the uh, x bar value is 4.9 once you know the mean value of the washer which is found as 4.9 we can refer to the data book to find out the dx value dx is the tolerance the washers ought to be manufactured using surface grinding with an IT grade of 6 so we have to find out what is the tolerance on the washer using the data book now the mean value of the washer x bar is found as 4.9 refer to the uh, data book for a mean value of 4.9 the 4.9 falls in the second row then the washers are finished in surface grinding with an it grade of 6 so the value is found as 8 micron from the data book so when the value is found as 8 micron it is it has to be converted into equal bilateral form so 8 micron is nothing but plus or minus 4 micron so the value of the dx is found as plus or minus 004 from the data book as a next step the gap y ought to be grouped we will start from group 0 group 0 of the gap as the limit given by y bar minus k minus dx and y bar plus k minus dx so y bar value is 5 for this problem k value is the okay dot 5 that is uh, uh, taken from the problem not 5 we want to maintain a play of 0.1 Plasma is not five in the assembly, so the k value is point not five. Dx is the tolerance of the washer. Just now the dx value has been found as point not not four. So we have to substitute point not not four in place of dx. Then we get the lower limit of group zero as four point nine five four. 
the upper limit is found as y bar plus k minus dx it is 5 plus pi not 5 minus not not 4 it is 5 pi not 4 6 then on the odd side group 1 group 3 group 5 group 7 you have to find out group 1 as the limits y bar plus k minus dx and y bar plus 3 minus 3 times k minus dx group 3 y bar plus 3 minus 3 times k minus dx and y bar plus 5 times so if you want to find out the group 5 it will be y bar plus 5 times y bar plus 7 times so like that it will be uh, the uh, the limit has to be found out so let us find the limits for group 1 so y bar is 5 k minus dx is not 5 minus not not 4 you get the lower limit of group 1 gap is 5 point not 4 6 and the upper limit y bar plus 3 times k minus dx it comes to 5.138 then group 3 okay, uh, is uh, having a lower limit of y bar plus 3 times k minus dx which is found as 5.138 and the upper limit of group 3 is y bar plus 5 times k minus uh, dx which is found as 5.23 okay see here the upper limit is Found, five, found as 5.23 as per the formula but okay going by this uh, earlier loop uh, the y value is found to be varying from 4.81 to 5.19 so in that case the gap cannot be more than 5.19 so even though as per the formula we get uh, a value of 5.23 since the gap cannot go okay higher than 5.19 this is a okay, case uh, truncated to 5.19 so the grouping odd number of grouping uh, is limited to 3 we don't have to find the group limit for 5 7 because already the upper uh, value of the gap is achieved then start with the uh, even number of grouping group 2 as the limits y bar minus k minus dx and y bar minus 3 times k minus dx which is having a value of 9 point sorry 4.954 and 4.862 then group 4 as the limits y bar minus 3 minus sorry y bar minus 3 times k minus dx and y bar minus 5 times k minus dx which has uh, uh, the values have been substituted and it is found that uh, the group 4 is having a lower limit of 4.862 upper limit of 4.77 as per the formula but okay the gap cannot go beyond 4.81 the gap which is found to be varying from 4.81 to 5.19 so a gap cannot be less than 4.81 so the 4.77 uh, is not possible so it is changed to 4.81 so grouping of gap has been completed as a next step grouping of bosses is to be done so we know that uh, the gaps are grouped under five groups group 0 group 1 group 3 and group 2 group 4 we should have the same group for the bosses also group 0 is found from this formula x bar plus or minus dx x bar is 4.9 dx is not not 4 then group 1 is x bar plus 2 times k minus dx plus or minus dx. So when you substitute the values, it is found to be 4.992 plus or minus 0 4. Group 3 is x bar plus 4 times k minus dx plus or minus dx. It is found to be 5.084 plus or minus 0 4. Then uh, having completed the uh, grouping of the odd number then we will come to the even number group 2 is x bar 2 x bar minus 2 times k minus dx plus or minus dx it comes to 4.808 plus or minus not not 4 group 4 is found as x bar minus 4 times k minus dx plus or minus dx which comes to 4.716 plus or minus not not 4 so we have done the grouping of the 
uh, we have done the grouping of the gap y and we have done the grouping of the washes x for this problem we found that uh, there are five groups of gap so we have to have corresponding five groups of washes x so we can graphically represent the solution by writing the uh, the group limit for each and every gap then the group limit for each and every uh, washes the answer to the problem is shown graphically in this sheet the arrived values of various groups of gaps are shown here these are the group limits of each group of gaps and these are the group limits of each group of washers uh, let us prove with uh, an example uh, let us say uh, a gap is found to be falling under group 0 then we have to use a washer from group 0 so what is the maximum uh, play expected the play is maximum when a washer of minimum size is used for a maximum gap so the maximum gap is uh, under group 0 is 5.046 and the washer of minimum size is 4.896 so 5.046 minus 4.896 the maximum play expected is 0.15 uh, the minimum play is expected when you use a maximum thickness washer which is having a size of 4.904 when the gap is minimum 4.954 so the minimum maximum play is arrived as 4.954 minus 4.904 which is 0.05 so the maximum play is 0.15 minimum play is 0.05 the mean play is average of these two that is 0.1 from the 0.1 the maximum play is varying by plus 0.05 from the point 1 the minimum play is varying by minus 0.05 so by the arrived values of the group limits we are able to achieve a action play play of point 1 plus or minus 0.05 which is the requirement as per our problem so our requirement is satisfied